Hey everyone, the first three terms in an arithmetic sequence are 34, 38, and 42. What is the 60th term? The answer here is 270. And here's why. So first of all, when I read the problem, I notice that we are told that we have an arithmetic sequence. So when we have an arithmetic sequence, what we need to understand is the following. We need to understand that with an arithmetic sequence, we are going to see and guarantee to see that every term is added by the same thing to get the next term. So there is a common difference, all right? There is a common difference. And what that common difference is here is, hey, look, from 34 to 38, that's plus four. 38 to 42, plus four. So that's what I mean. Arithmetic sequences, they are consistently growing by the same amount. Now, in order to find the 60th term in this arithmetic sequence, well, we're gonna have to use either logic and just work at it from the very beginning, or you can use a little shortcut by knowing your arithmetic sequence formula. And here's that formula right here. So let's go ahead and say that n is the term number. So in this case, it'll be 60 since it's the 60th term. But here's the thing. Let's go ahead and say that a sub n, I'm gonna let that be uh, the term value. So whatever the 60th term actually is, we don't know that yet. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Remember that. So here's the formula for arithmetic sequences. Any term that you want in an arithmetic sequence will be equal to your first term and then you add to it, you'll take away one from the term number you're trying to find and multiply it by the common difference. And here's what this means. I'm gonna give you a little crash course here. What this means is that, hey, look, starting at the first term, how many more terms do I need to jump? Well, if I already have the number one, I don't need to jump 60, I need to jump 59. That's why you subtract one. And then you're gonna multiply that by the common difference. Because every number that you go up, you need to, you need to add that common difference. So I'm adding four, 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 59 times, not 60. Again, that's why we subtract one. So hopefully that wasn't too, too much to handle from the very get-go, but we'll use this formula and memorize this if you can, because it'll help you out. But what we will do now is solve. The 60th term will be the first term, 34, added onto it would be 59, again, 60, minus one, 59, because we are taking 59 additional steps is what we're doing, because we don't need to take 60 because we already have the first term. So we're taking 59 additional steps and multiplying it by four every time. So from here, 34 plus 59 times four, 59 times four will be 236, I believe. That was just mental math. So I'm gonna check my work very quickly just to make sure that I don't give you the wrong number. So 236, 59 times four, Yep, 236. And from there, 34 plus 36 gives us 270. And that's why 270 is the answer. So there it is, that's the formal way of doing it. If you didn't know about this sequence formula for arithmetic sequences, write it out. Remember that D is your common difference. And this is your term number. This is your term value. And this is your first term. So with that said, I hope this helps out everybody. I really do. I'm gonna highlight this for your convenience. And there we are. I really do hope this helps out everybody. We'll see you in the next question.